Yo, I just withdrew $8,000 from my life insurance policy. It's a cash value life insurance policy. And I wanna show you how you can do the same and flip it. Let's get it. Yo, what's good, my people? So I'm gonna give y'all this wealth one-on-one -on -one before 2024. And if you're watching this in 2024, it's still gonna work, you feel me? All right, so there's two types of life insurance policies. You got term and you got whole life. You need both, all right? People scared to talk about life insurance policies because they feel like they're gonna pass out and die. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you need both. First, because we don't wanna be doing GoFundMes all day for you people. For you, really, when you die, and then you just need this second one because you can build wealth while you're still alive. And most people don't tell you that, but you can. So get term, cool. Whole life is what we're talking about today because this is the wealth maker, all right? So you want to get an IUL policy, index universal life, all right? So a lot of the brokers that um, have these insurance companies, they don't make a lot of money on these policies. And so they might try to tell you, oh, they can't do it. They, um, they give you to run around. Some of them know exactly what you're talking about, but like I said, they don't make a lot of money, but if they real cool, they're gonna, they gonna hook you up. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna make sure you get what you need to get, all right? So, boom. I got my notes here because I wanna make sure I get out everything. So it's basically like a savings account for your life insurance, which is crazy, right? So you can pay money into it every single month like a savings account, okay? And then you can take that money and borrow against it, right, as your own bank. So you're basically becoming your own bank. It's called infinite banking, right? You can borrow against it, and then use that money to invest in other uh, assets, like real estate, whatever it is you're into, whatever business is gonna produce money to pay it back. All right, so we're gonna talk about that. So remember, cash value life insurance policy, this is what you want, a high value cash out policy. All right, you wanna be able to front load the policy. So say, let's say you have a business that's booming, Let's say you make $20,000 in a month and instead of putting that money in a savings account and you want tax-free money, you front load a policy. So you gotta hit your, your broker up or whoever you're talking to. Say you all wanna front load this policy with this 20,000. Boom, you throw that 20,000 in a uh, cash value policy and it's gonna grow at four, 5%, right? Sometimes even higher, six or 7% depending on you know the, the company or whatever. But mine, you're like four or 5% a year. Way better than the bank because the bank and the savings account only giving you 0.01% on your money. So you're getting way more on your money. All right. One thing I forgot to mention is that when you borrow against the policy, it's going to still grow at that same amount. So for example, if I borrow this 8,000, which I did, my policy is still going to grow at four to 5% on that 8,000 as if I never touched the 8,000. So that 8,000 is still gonna grow even though the money's not there. That's super cold. All right, a benefit is you are protected against any downturns in the market and this money is tax free, right? So when you put it in there and you borrow against it, now you don't wanna take, out, take the money out completely. You wanna borrow against it like a loan because you cannot tax debt. Uh, the money that you make from using that loan to you know, get into producing assets and they make you money, then you gotta pay taxes on that part. But the other part, no. It's, it's another dope thing about it, it's an interest only payment, right? So whenever you take a loan against your policy, you only, uh, it's an interest only payment. You know, a lot of policies, if it's structured correctly, you won't have to pay interest for like 13 months, a year and a half, or a, year, a little bit over a year. Uh, and so you can then use that money to be like a hard money lender, or like I said, use it to put a down payment on property or a house or a car, whatever you want to do with it, right? Another, another dope thing about it is, if you cannot afford to pay it back, guess what? You don't got to. That's crazy, right? The reason why you don't got to is because they just gonna take that from your death benefit. So for instance, let's say your death benefit is $200,000, meaning if something happened to you, your family or beneficiaries get 200,000, right? But let's say your cash value, you took out uh, 50,000 of it, right? Let's say you saved it up to 50,000 or you front loaded it with a large amount. And uh, let's say you borrowed against it the 50, okay? Then if you couldn't pay the 50 back, all they're gonna do is deduct it from your death benefit. So then it'll be 200,000 minus 50. And that's what your family would get in case something happened to you, right? So that's another super dope thing about it. That's why a lot of people, uh, a lot of wealthy people are using uh, life insurance policies. And let me just show you, cause I don't even know if I showed y'all. Like, let me just show you. Oh, I bet y'all didn't know that Walt Disney was started with a life insurance policy. How Walt Disney used a life insurance policy as his own bank to start Walt Disney, right? You got um, McDonald's, Disneyland, JCPenney's, a whole bunch of other companies that have used life insurance policies, y'all, to start 
they business. So it's it's a real deal. It's it's big time, big money, big wealth strategies. And a lot of the times how people are hiding, um, I don't wanna say hiding money from the IRS, but it's definitely a, a great tax um, free, uh, tax deferred type of uh, situation. You feel me? So I'm giving y'all real wealth stuff now. Like I said, I'm doing it. I started doing mine last year, even though I knew about it before, way before uh, last year, but just started doing it last year. Uh, and I'm loving it. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, I, I'm about to invest this this eight thousand that I got and flip that thing. Y'all know how we do: flip it, pay that back, and keep borrowing against it later on. Um, you know, essentially, the whole goal behind whole life insurance policy is to use the cash value to reinvest into biz uh, businesses that produce money to then you know pay the loan back. And if you can't pay it back, you don't got to. You know what I'm saying? This is a very, very dope wealth strategy. You know, I gotta always put y'all on game. You need it, of, of course, you need life insurance policy. Like I said, the term is for your family if something happened to you. Whole life is for you to access the money while you're still alive. You know what I'm saying? So those are the two major differences, but I do have both. Now, like I said, depending on, like me on one of mine, I pay $1,000 a month into, right? Every month, and then I'm able to pull it out. Now. There are certain policies, like I said, talk to your, your broker or whoever that you, like mine, I could cash out money immediately. Like the day I put it in, like two or three days later, I was able to, I could able to do a, a cash out, right? But not recommend it because you don't, you know, you want to save it up for some time. But now some policies, they may say, oh, well, you can't cash it out for the first two years. So you want to make sure you stay away from those. Like you want the ones that you can get the money instantly. And so, how long does it take to get a loan from these life insurance policy? Mine too. Well, one day I did it yesterday and it came this morning. So I didn't have to do no credit checks or none of that kind of stuff. And so people love it because let's say your um, life insurance policy is 30,000, right? Instead of going to a bank and getting a loan from the bank, you're basically taking a loan from yourself, right? And then paying yourself back which is fire, you see what I'm saying? Versus having to deal with the banks and all that. So basically that 30,000, let's say you want to go buy a car, take 30,000 out the policy, go buy the car cash, right? Now you owe yourself, you can pay yourself back interest only payments, right? Uh, from that car. And then if you can't pay it back, then they just take it from the debt benefit, fire, right? So remember as you're making Forex profits, binary option profits or whatever profits from whatever business, you could be storing this money away in a life insurance policy for a later date. Can't say I ain't never teach y'all nothing, man. I be putting y'all on game, you know what I'm saying? I, I know a lot of Forex traders and other people, they just like talking Forex, but y'all already know me. I want y'all to make money in every way possible, credit, life insurance, day trading, real estate, all that, because you need all of it collectively to really get it popping out here, you feel me? So your 2024 will be great. I believe it, I receive it, and I claim it, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, in all those areas. So, man, look, comment below what you're thinking. If you got any more advice on life insurance, comment it below, because I know I ain't the only one who know about this. So if you got any more advice that can help other people, make sure you comment and drop the game below. If you know any other uh, life insurance companies, that's uh, that's super fire, because I ain't done getting, I'm gonna get some more, you know what I'm saying? I got a couple of them, I'm getting some more, you know what I'm saying? I don't play these games when it comes to this well. And next, um. As I fully learn about trust, I, I don't have a trust yet, but I'm learning about it. And as I fully um, learn about trust, I'll be able to put y'all on game on how to, how to operate a trust and all that. So hit me up on Instagram if you know about it and you know how to set all that stuff up too. Cause like I said, I'm looking, we family, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking to help you, you look to help me and we all grow together. So that's what it's all about. But other than that, man, I'll let your boy, let's get it.